Hello everyone. Welcome to my series on VBScript programming and today's topic is regular expressions. Now before we jump into the coding, uh, let's start with a few examples to understand what a uh, regular expression is. So regular expression is a set of characters which define a rule or a pattern by which we can test other strings. So let's start with this. Now this will match any string where the letters A, B or C are present and it will match this character or this character or this character in that string. So if I write a string like this, this is a test string. So in this particular string, if I do a match of this regex pattern, so we call this a regular expression pattern. So if I do a match of this regex pattern in this string, then the letter A will come out as a match. So it will take out substrings from this string which matches this rule or this particular pattern. And this pattern says uh, the set of characters A, B and C, if any of these characters are present in this string, then that's a match. So in this string, we don't have B in the string, we don't have C in the string, we have a, a. So that's a match. Similarly, this string will match any character which is not A or B or C. So this is basically a negation, which says that you match all characters in that string, given string, which are not equal to A, not equal to B or not equal to C. So once again, if I write a test string A, B, C, in that case, all the characters in the string, apart from the characters A, B and C, will hit a match with this. Now, let's try to understand what this is. Now, what you have written here in the square brackets is the character set A to Z, which takes care of all small case characters, lower case characters of the alphabet set starting from A all the way to Z. And this takes care of all the upper case character sets starting from A to Z. This notation, one comma blank, this means that at least one occurrence of any character within this character set should be present. And that will become a match. So this means minimum one occurrence needs to be present. So if I write two over here, then minimum will be two. So we need to have minimum two occurrence of any character within this character set and that will become a match. So if I write the string one, 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 two, 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 <coughs> let's say I put and then four, 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 then this will become a match and this will become a match. So double E and triple E, both of them will cause a match with this regular expression. The numbers won't come because this takes care of the character set from A to Z and caps A to Z. Now in this case, we have backslash D, which takes care of the numeric uh, set 0 to 9. So now we have included A to Z, A to Z, uppercase A to Z, lowercase and the numeric set from 0 to 9 and we say we specifically looking for, in this case there was a comma, so there was a range, so we are looking for minimum 2. In this case we have mentioned 2, so which means exactly 2 occurrence of any of these character sets. So in this case, if we put the same string over here, then all sets of 2 characters will cause a match because they are both, all of them are satisfying, the, both the numbers and the characters are satisfying this particular pattern. Now let's try to understand this with a little bit of VB script coding. So let me just delete this and reduce the size a little bit. Okay, so we start by <coughs> creating a regex object. So create a regex object. And then we assign a pattern to this object, reg obj dot pattern equal to, and we mention our regular expression pattern over here. So let's say we want to <coughs> check for strings which are starting with, uh, uh, let's say the character set uh, this. So we put a tilde at the beginning to denote that this is our starting point. And then we put a bracket over here and this becomes our pattern. 
now let's ex uh, accept a string from the user so our input string will be input box enter the input string now once we receive the input from the user we need to validate that input with our pattern to do that we need to do a test so what we do is reg object dot test and we put our input string over here okay and we put this inside a message box let's save this and go back to our location and run this so the input string is this is a test string and returns true why it returns true because when I entered this is a test string it matched this string with our rule and our rule says anything that starts with this is fine with me so this is a proper match now let's try a different string go back to our folder close this pop-up box so a test returns a true or a false now that was an invalid string and we click on ok and it says false why did it say false because it does not start with this it starts with that so our condition has failed now let's try to understand something click on this again and put a bracket over here this is a test string and it says false so what I try to do here is I try to put the string with the parenthesis but it did not work why because the parenthesis in this case are operators for the regular expression this parenthesis says it basically encloses this entire set of characters as one word in instead of you know individual letters and it says the entire string that is passed as input that we are going to test over here should begin with this word so the parenthesis over here is a operator it has a certain meaning it has a certain significance it's not part of the string and that's why it failed now let's try something different let's try to start a particular string over here and let's put a dollar over here right at the end save it go back to our file and double click and run and now let's try the same thing this is a test string and now it says false let's try to run this again let's just type this enter it says true run this again this is type ok it says false so it basically means that this particular string is only validating the string this nothing more than that nothing less than that right so that's what these two characters mean this means the start of the string the validation should happen at the beginning of the string and this means the validation should happen at the end of the string and since we have enclosed this particular word with both these characters it means that the entire string should start and finish with this now let's try to understand this in a different way let's try to see if it can hold anything in between so we go back and run this and we say this is a test string this so we are putting this at the start we're putting this at the end now we try to click on ok and it says false so it basically means that this string this particular rule or validation or pattern will not accept anything apart from this let's try something else let's say we are validating username entered in this format first name dot last name we need to validate if the input string that is entered by the user matches the format right so let's go and change this so we are going to have a character set over here so we put the square bracket to denote the character set we go from caps a to z small case a to z and we need that minimum one character we put a comma so this means that this particular string should have characters from this character set a to z or from the lowercase character set a to z minimum one character and the maximum cannot can be anything the maximum range is not defined and then we put a 
backslash dot. So why did we put a backslash? Because the dot is also an operator. So we need to escape that using this backslash. And now for the last name, we again take this entire string and we put that over here. Now let's put a starting tag over here and let's put a ending tag over here, which is a dollar. Let's save this. Okay, let's just delete this. And let's go back to our VBS file and double click and run. And now let's try to enter some names. So let's start with the combination of uppercase and lowercase John dot Smith and it says true. Let's try this again. We're going to do John space Smith and it says false because the dot is missing. Let's try this again. We're going to do John one two three dot Smith. It says false because the character set did not allow for numerics. Once again, we go for John 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 dot Smith 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 and it says true because the minimum value is one because and the maximum is not set. So any number of characters from this character set are allowed. And then a dot and the same thing applies over here as well. Now let's just close this and run this again. Let's see John dot Smith and then a dot again. And it says false because the end of the string doesn't include a dot at the end. It includes this character set with this rule. So the minimum number of characters is one and the maximum is not defined. But the character set is this uppercase and lowercase alphabet set. So that is how a regular expression is validated. Now let's try to create a regular expression for a email address. So suppose you have a web page or uh, on the web page you have a form and on the form you have a uh, text uh, text box input field where the user needs to uh, enter email ID and you need to validate whether the email ID is correct or not and that can be very easily done using a regular expression. So let's try to build a regular expression to validate a email address. So now for our email ID let's assume the format first name dot last name at company name or company domain dot com so this is the format of our email id that we are expecting now let's try to build this so once again we start with this a to z a to z with minimum one occurrence and then there should be a dot and then again the same character set minimum one occurrence but we're not going to end here now so we remove the dollar now after this we're expecting a at the rate character so we put a character over this notice the escape sequence over here so we're trying to escape this and then we again put a character set over here where we say a to z and uppercase a to z and then we can put a range over here one comma followed by a dot and then once again a character set over here let's just copy this but in this case the range we are sticking to 3 since we know that our company domain ends in com right so this is 3 characters so that's why we in the pattern itself the last suffix is specifically of 3 characters so when we put without any commas so in this case we have put one comma blank which means that minimum one character occurrence should happen in this case we did not put any commas we have directly put three over here which means that the last suffix should have three characters now let's see if this works let me just uh, comment this i might need that afterwards for reference and save this go back to our file run this and let's try to put our employee name john.smith at the rate google.com and that's true let's try this again john dot smith at the rate google dot let's say test and it says true again there is some problem that we did not take care of and what is that so after the last dot okay did we not put a dollar at the end let's try this now John dot Smith at the rate 
Google dot test and it says false. We did not put a dollar at the end, so that did not signify the end, right? Okay, so this is the string for validating this email format. So similarly for any kind of uh, input data validation or input string validation, you can use regular expressions. And this is the way you need to use that in VBScript. So today we uh, discussed in very brief regular expressions and how they're used in VBScripts. Uh, just try it out uh, yourself and if you face any issues, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.